morning to all the people in the world. This is your boy Fat Boy Fit, aka Jehoshaphat. Now, the topic for today is relations between brother to brother, sister to sister. Now, I wanted to do this introduction with this bit of knowledge. Now, when all the African American peoples came over to this country, we all stepped on. We all stepped off the same slave ship. So somewhere in the courses of history, we have the same blood. So does that make us folks? Now I know we not I know we not direct cousins. I know this. But we come from the same people. So we must be some type of family members. Now you might not be my cousin. But I definitely will say as a black man, you are my folks. Now I ask this to all the black men out there in the world. Are you your brother's keeper? Now, the topic I want to talk about is race relations between us. I see so many different black people out in the world so quick to discourage the next black person with the racism, hate, the hatreds. Everybody, I me, mean, it's like everybody is caught up on this light skin, dark skin shit, but you must remember back in 1619. The, the definitions of a slave is any person that would have one drop of Negro blood inside of them. So the African American male, I don't care what kind of black person you is, it's hard to be a black man. And if you wanna if you wanna step out of your own self to be something that you're not, I can't understand you. But if you got black blood plumping in your veins, I don't care what color of black you are. You are a full black person to me. I do not like my other brothers and sisters out there talking about, oh, well, he likes skinny. I don't want to listen to nothing he's saying. He likes skinny. He's not black as us. He don't got no right to be talking about our situations. I don't like that. I've never liked that. Not one day in my life about my people. You my people. I don't care what you look like. I don't care how, what color your skin is, how dark, how light. I'm not going to judge you on the color of your blackness. But if you go outside in the streets and you cooning, you cooning for white supremacy, I'm going to call you off on your bullshit. So I ask all my brothers and sisters out there in the world, why are we so caught up on this light skin, black skin? I'll be the first black man right here, fat boy fish, to tell you I'm dealing with this post-traumatic slave syndrome. You know what I'm saying? This woolly lit syndrome that's inside of me. I'm trying my best to shake off all the negative stereotypes that was taught to make me feel the way that I feel about myself and my people. I love y'all. Y'all my people. I'm proud of every black person out there in the world chooses to do right for themselves and their people. I love my people, all y'all sisters, all y'all brothers. We need to teach love amongst us ourselves and this hatred that we have for one another. It's It's got to stop. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's so much hatred between us. It's, it's bad enough that we have to deal with white supremacy 24 hours a day as a black person. But this nitpicking at each other. Oh, he, th that nigga, he ain't, he ain't black enough. I don't think that I can listen. That's some fucking bullshit. Brothers and sisters out there. I'm not one of these type of black people that sit there and say that you lesser of a black person than I. Okay, I got a mama that's black. I got a daddy that's black. But if you got one parent that's black, you black like me. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? You black just like me. You're going to face the cops just like I'm going to face the cops. You're going to face the the denial of a job just the same way I'm going to face the denial of the job. Them, them, them people over there picking at you because of your color, you and me both going to be facing the same shit no matter what. I'm not going to downplay you sisters and brothers out there i love y'all i love my people i love black people i'm a black man so we gonna have to teach ourselves to love ourselves but we must start with knowledge for me to feel the way that i have i have been inspired by every black person in the world that has come before me and a lot of black people that live to the day in this time area that we're in now and I thank God that there's so many different strong black people out there in the world that are speaking their mind and telling it how it is. I commend you, brothers and sisters. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm a man. I'm, I'm so comfortable in my menace. I don't have to prove anything to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Anything. I've been in so much shit. I see life now. And I'm older now. And I, I cannot stand here as a man and tell you before in my, pal, in my past that I had this pride about myself. I cannot say that. I have done a lot of searching. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to take all this bad programming that I got inside of myself and throw that shit as far away from me as I possibly can. So now in life, I can only lift my brothers and my sisters up. I refuse to be that one that want to tear you down. And it starts in our home. You know what I'm saying? How are we going to make our, our people feel better about themselves? Now, it starts with us. And we're going to have to do a whole lot of knowledge. Like, now, when I say knowledge, now, as in school, they don't teach young black people about all the great things that we have done throughout the courses of history. That bit of inspiration young black people need to grow on to have a sense of black pride amongst themselves. Now, white people, they learn about their history every day in school. They get white, white pride in public schools from the time they're a little tiny kid all the time that they're a grown person. So I see that as a definite, a definite problem with my people. It says in the Bible that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Who in the world is destroyed from lack of knowledge? Ask yourself this question. You know what I'm saying? So I ask all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. Now, this light skin, black skin, I might as well call it for what it is. This Wooliness syndrome that we have so much invested with this hatred inside of us. Is this the prolonging of white supremacy that we're doing? I refuse to do it anymore. And I ask all my brothers and sisters out there that you look at your brothers, no matter what color skin they are, they still gotta face this punk ass shit the same way. You know what I'm saying? You do. They still gotta face, they still live in a white supremacist life. You know what I'm saying? In they like they gotta deal with it every single day. So what gives you the motherfucking right to tell them they not black enough? I'm here to tell them they more black than they ever need. You understand that? So I ask that my people lift each other up. It's time for us to stop with all of this violence. You know what I'm saying? Cause after we finish all of this violence and we actually on the same page, we still have to face white supremacy. So instead of kicking your brother down the street won't you help him down the street because his life is hard as your life sister you know what I'm saying her life is hard as your life is so I ask for an outpouring of love amongst our own people this is your boy fat boy fish aka Jehoshaphat peace to the people of the world